today we want to show you how that we're going to make a we're going to use it for quail but you can use it for any other kind of bird i'm pretty sure and chicken stuff like that but we're going to make a feeder using some new material some old material we had bought some two inch pipe a while back to um make bird feeders with make quail feeders with but we changed our mind and did it a different way so we still had this well now we have built more pens inside so we need more um feeders so we figured out a different way to do it and um use the materials we already owned first we have is this like a two foot a two foot two inch pipe an old this is actually a powerade um bottle you could use probably any soda bottle um gatorade powerade whatever you want to use but we just happen to have powerade bottles and know this is not sponsored powerades not giving me any money but they can send me all powerade they won't <laughs> then, now I'm going to tell you the tools you're going to need. You're going to need a drill or a screw gun, whatever you want to call it. A two inch hole saw. A one and three quarter inch hole saw. A bit for the type of screws you want. And two screws. And now we're going to show you how to put this together. Okay, now he's going to make the holes in the bottle. First he's going to do the two inch on this end and the one and three quarter on that end. Okay, whenever you've used the hole saw on this thin plastic, you're going to have all these little burrs and all this stuff. So what he's going to do is take his pocket knife and he's going to clean that up. Okay, now he's going to hook the pipe to the bottle. You need to make sure that you don't have the pipe too far in because if it's too far in, your feed won't come out. If it's too far up, too much feed will come out and it, they'll make a mess with it. So, he's figured out, because he's already made one of these, he's figured out how far in it needs to go. And all he does is put one screw on each side of the bottle. Okay. Now, that's the feeder finished. We're going to take it inside and put it together. We also have a cap for the other end, so whenever we put the food in, it's safe. So we're going to go inside now. Okay, now he's going to figure out the best place for it and mark the wire so that he can cut the wire. tool you're going to need which I did not mention other than the plug I didn't actually mention the clippers or what are they called snips, snips. I didn't mention those but you're going to have to have zip ties and what I have here is two put together okay then he's going to just clip off the ends of the zip ties and we'll fill it up put the burbs in and be ready to go as you can see the food is going in there i have not filled it up all the way so it's not going to be completely full but it will come all the way out here and this part will fill up and the birds can just get in here and eat so all we have left to do is Finish filling it up, put the birds in here, and let it go. Okay, so that's how you can make a bird feeder out of things you already have and what some people will call garbage. You know we're always using all kinds of things that people call garbage around this house. <laughs> so, um, if you can find a way to do it cheaper, do it cheaper and reuse stuff. That way there's not so much in the landfills and um yeah that's all i have for today 
Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you'd like to, hit that subscribe button and you won't miss any of my videos maybe. I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't work well because you're not always notified. But if you hit that bell, you might get notified. <laughs> if you'd like to, you can share this video with your friends and share it on social media. And also leave me a comment down below. Tell me ways you save money. Tell me ways you take care of your animals. That is still a good way, but it's saving you money. So you have more to do with, I guess you could say. That's uh yeah, that's all I had to say, I guess. So thanks again for watching and remember don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet. <laughs>